Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to the bunker. Previously in the bunker, we completed our routine, and then we suited up to go into a radioactive area. Sighing internally. I don't have a good place to get ambushed if someone's still alive in this whole place. What we got here? Computer, some notes. Filtration unit check, day 18th of October 95, 1611, checked by PJT. Main filtration unit running okay, cleaned out and replaced filters. Checked back up just to be sure, readings are a bit high, but Frank says no need to replace at the moment. Probably just as well. I'm concerned about our stock level of filters for the main unit. We're chewing through them a lot faster than Spec says, due to higher outdoor red than expected. Frank says he'll have a word with Bishop about stocks and sorting out the backup longer term. PJ. So it's not radiation. Could have been some kind of plague. Commander could have gone nuts, decided to murder everyone who was infected. Things probably got out of hand. Didn't exactly go as planned, if you know what I mean. The engineer. I'm missing everyone in the middle of this list. Accident report. Date 12th of August 92. 1910. Filed by F. Hurley. Ran scheduled test of backup filtration unit. Red level's way too high on output. Over 500 rem. Red lights across the board. I thought it was a duff filter. I tried a new one. Same. Sacrificed a Geiger. Stuck it on a rod and ran it round inside the casing. We got contaminated dust clogging the lower X duct. God knows how it got in. Might be a hairline, or maybe the filter just couldn't cope with the levels being so much higher than we expected. This is really, really bad. Without taking this apart, cleaning, resealing, and decontaminating the whole thing, it's useless. We have no backup air filtration system. But I can't see how we can do it. We don't have a clean space to do this in. Bishop just shrugs pretty much. Keep it quiet, Frank. You'll only worry people. Oh, for fuck's sake. What else isn't he telling us? Everything. <laughs> I mean, they did have some issues, but it's a backup system, not the main system. So that's not the worst of the worst. Well, let's check the computer. That ain't good. So that's that. What's over here? Oh boy, it's hell. Oh, what we got here? We got a valve. A ladder. Guys, hit the ladder up first manually. No way to climb up it. Okay. Ain't no problem. This was easier than the release of Half-Life 3. Gone 
it's actually worse in here. Without any noise. What's in here? Quite a few things, actually. Tools. Filters. And what's this? Some kind of latch. Oh, off the scale. Go replace the filters. We probably have to put it on that one shoot. I think that's a shoot we saw earlier. The radioactive Simlon. This is falling apart. I'm getting a good filter. I think I could use these to fix the unit. Nice and clean. And we put the new filter in. You probably have to go and like turn that valve again. Good. How's the other filter look? I guess it doesn't matter. Apparently this game is Apocalypse Survivor Sim. I need to turn the pressure valve back on. Like the horror itself is coming from the abject loneliness in this situation. Not from anything necessarily external. Is anything I can s No, this doesn't seem like there's anything new. There is creepy noises though in music. That person who's very bad at keeping his balance. Like, seriously. Buddy. Get up. Time to die. He also gets knocked out by a short fall. He's coming. No. <laughs> I think he broke his arm.
So you know we have fixed the radiation system? Did he flip that switch back? I hope he did. So an arm hurts, but the whole place is flooded of radiation. You know, we're kind of dead. It's a struggle just to get up the stairs. We gotta, we gotta do what we gotta do. Bleeding, diarrhea, liver failure, it's got to be. It can't be radiation sickness. Look, these... Of course it can. This place probably leaks like a sieve. It was built by the lowest bidder. No one thought there'd be a real war. I know Bishop said that we'll be safe here, but... Honestly, George, do you believe him? I'm sorry. No, don't worry. We've all been under a lot of pressure. Margaret. Where's the Lindane ointment? Look there, top left. You never need it for Mrs. Harrison. Yes, but there were two unopened bottles there on Monday. We, we have to keep on top of the stop. We can't have... What is it? Nothing. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if the commander was sick and sneaking away things. May cause serious side effects. Mundane, it's proved. 
No, that's not good. Licensed scammies. Yeah, that's not for us. Sorry I'm making you read these things, buddy, while you're in intense, both physical and emotional pain on multiple levels. That'd be pretty. Nothing ever is. of pores. Gotta go. I sure hope the outside world is doing better than we think it is. Radiation. Oh, that's a nice chapter name. Door sealed shut immediately. For Christ's sake, Margaret. Keep your little shit in his quarters before he explores the wrong place and gets us all killed. Seal that door immediately! Sure, nice to have that suit again. Before we completely exit, let's see what's in here. Now we can get a suit or something before we go out. Better than nothing. Make it to good old Ireland.
But we are not on this. We're still in the bunker. We haven't quite left yet. I think we're coming for a suit. This is the war room again. And we've finally been able to take some proper readings from the RA-14 sensors. They show we have a range of 700 to 1,000 rads for anyone exposed to the atmosphere. What, what does that mean? Well... Anything over 200 rads can be fatal. No. How long before it's safe to go back up? Our best guess. 20 to 30 years. That's... Sam? Can we last that long? Do we have enough food? Yes, you... Y yes, it'll, it'll be all right. We may have to ration a little, but... It'll be all right. It's all right, darling. Everything's going to be fine. Thirty years have passed. You can make it. Is this a separate war room or is it just a different angle? this? Level 1, only 2. The exit route's Forest. completely covered. It leads down to the other blast doors. This is a different angle. I guess. Can we have grabbed a suit? Ah, oh, whatever. I can't go in the stair well, there's radiation. Yeah, I figured. Churchill. Huh, it's actual Churchill. A hatch. That's interesting. I'm gonna do some clicking. Man, listen, that's sinful, that intense pushing. You gotta climb all down the way, that. 
reminds me of the finale of the Walking Dead game. If Lee can do it, you can do it too. No. There's a tape recorder right there, I think. Well, I'm calling it. 12th of November, 1992. Carl and I have been scanning all the bands for three days now, just in case. But there's nothing. The last contact we had with anybody was 17th of October. CN1 in Bedfordshire. I could work out they were fighting over food. Have I had anything more? So that's it. We're done. There's no one else out there. Or if there is, they've got no idea we're here. 12th of November, 1992. The day this became our tomb. Christ, they need a drink. a locker here or something. No, it's just the darkness kind of masking something. Level 5 That's a hallway straight to hell Stay on the ground and What's this? No, we ain't opening that with a finger. No way. We'll need a tool or something. That's the tool right there. A torch. No, it's a torch. <laughs> we were able to get open before, we ain't gonna get open now. We gotta find that tool. 
Found look at his mother. No. It's a tool. So can you directly save us in the end? Bye. gonna be the escape from the bunker right here. We should check out this door to our left when we get the option. Inevitably. Locked. Really? That's just swell. Monster was man. Looking for the key. Why would I give you a way out, Margaret? You and the little rat are not going to leave. You're not going anywhere. We're all gonna die down here. John, no! <laughs> X, you dropped it. Well, no, he just has a gun instead.
What if the colonel was... He knew that there wasn't much food. What if he was purposely... Getting some of the people sick in here. To thin out the population. Damn, they'll make torches like they used to. I don't have much time. Because the one doctor did say it looked like it was sabotage, and they shut him up real fast afterwards. I need the code. This one has the most blood on it. So... This one has a little more. That one has a little more. And this one... That's the least amount of blood. Yeah, my logic was right. Pretty straightforward puzzle. I'm thinking the the commander was somehow putting radiation into people's food or something. Because if you got the numbers down low enough, there was enough food there to survive that 30 plus years you would have needed to. Oh god, I'm having the boys fuck up. This is a perfectly safe and normal way to crawl over dead bodies.
This is fine. This is okay. Rather than peeking into the bag, you just put your hand into dead human goop, and you know it's alright. Barking me, you bastard. Great, you discover what actual vent crawling is like. Tight and impractical. Bumper killed everyone. You've got this. You understand. You'll remember. Good boy. Be careful. She knew about the food. She figured if they killed everyone else, they'd have plenty enough for themselves. The commander could have still been doing something, though. That doesn't make him innocent yet. We might have been just on a much smaller scale. I'm hot pipe. I'm hot pipe. I'm hot pipe. I'm hot pipe. Commander was right. He did nothing wrong.
Yes, you're indirectly a monster. Technically directly. She didn't know. <laughs> Live with the bacon you made. Need breakfast. What key is it? Uh, red. Wow, was I really right or are all those right? I know how much you hate stairs, so we've given you the most stairs you've ever seen in your life. Judge Karmic Hell. It's already been done. Just live. Pretty determined real ghost. Wow, I just came over it apparently. I click out faster than last time. To avoid the zombie guest. My mother. You can't leave me, John. Stay with me. You promised you belong here. Everything I did, I did for you. I'm, I'm 
taken the spoil supplies off. Let's spit it out. 14 months. Not fast. Margaret, where's the link day? Let top left. You never let it for Mrs. Harrison. She was the one doing the poisoning and filling out the numbers. How long before it's safe to go back up? 20 to 30 years. Do we have enough food? I have to ration. <laughs> Got this. Good for number. Good boy. That's when she got defensive and said it was radiation sickness. Is safe. So that's it for the bunker. I think it's a bit vague what happens in the ending, obviously for purposeful reasons. You can assume that they said 30 years when they clip the radiation, but it makes you wonder if there's no radiation outside, then what is the machine and the thing filtering? And why didn't like soon as stop filtering it suddenly flood the place of radiation? Um, if it is clear outside, I can only assume that some of the radiation has gone to subsurface, maybe. So it's a little misleading, like down there it's radiated but upstairs not, or some areas aren't radiated like nature-wise. But that's the gist of the plot line. everything else is pretty well explained. It's, it's a simple twist, but it works pretty well. I would say writing-wise this thing is overall pretty solid, it makes great use of sound and atmosphere, and if I had to grade it as well a movie, it's a pretty good movie, and it does use some tricks. Filmmaking wise that you wouldn't be able to get away with in an actual movie that you can only do in like a video game format like this On the other hand, it does need some more gameplay It throws in that kind of adventure gaming stuff from the old days where everything was FMVs and everything and they only use like live-action actors But it's very token like there's a few nods of like picking up things in notes or whatnot But it would have been great if the bunker was a little more expanded That there was maybe some more stuff to kind of find out about life in the bunker something to kind of fluff it out 
so it's like I said, it's it's very borderline on that. It's right there on the border of is this a movie, is this a game? If I had to compare it to another recent game that came out that everyone really liked was Her Story. Her Story technically had less gameplay overall, like you just clicked through clips and you typed in. But the search for the mystery was very instigated by the player. Here it's kind of force fed to you. And there's also a lack of game over cutscenes or anything. They're very brief and you can see like they didn't really record any of them. They just kind of play like a clip of like it goes to black or whatever. While old FMV games were very movie like, they generally did record like kind of horror movie esque game over scenes and everything to kind of add some fluff. A little bit of that, but certainly not a bad experience at all. Like it's, like I said, it's well done. I just have a little gripes, some small things here. And if they make another thing, I wish they would kind of take in some, uh, some of that feedback. Anyway, thank you all for watching me play the bunker. So I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.